well you already know about the terms and concept of the chapter and here we are with the chapter drainage india is a vast country has lots of flowing rivers and you know the meaning of watershed you know the meaning of various other terms but we have to understand the drainage system in india the rivers which flow actually originate from where and where do they flow what's the length of the river and how does it help the country well when we talk of the drainage system in india there are basically two divisions the himalayan rivers and the peninsular rivers the himalayan rivers as we already know are the snow fed rivers and the peninsular rivers are those rivers which are generally based on the rainfall that is why they do not flow throughout the year they have lots of river as they are snow fed whereas a peninsular river can actually even dry so when we talk of the first of its type that is the himalayan rivers in the chapter we have to basically understand the indus ganga and the brahmaputra rivers now here the indus ganga and the brahmaputra river we will try to actually understand the basic concept of these rivers and they are let's i have divided all of it into certain heads and which are the name of the river the place of origin the length of the river and the catchment area that is from where all does it flow the tributary or the distributary that it has and any special feature of that river when i talk of the indus drainage system the first himalayan river remember there are three of them that i'll be talking about the indus ganga and the brahmaputra the indus drainage system originates this river at mansarovar lake and the length of it is 2880 the places where it flows are jammu and kashmir himachal and punjab the tributary of this river the two of them are jaskar and dras well the special feature is that the indus river forms gorges this was the first himalayan river named the indus river now i talk about the second drainage system or the second drainage river ganga which again is a himalayan river Ganga originates at two places that is Bhagirathi and Alaknanda the place of origin of Bhagirathi is actually Gangotri and Alaknanda at Alkapuri the total length of this river is 2525 km and the catchment area is very very vast it starts flowing from Haridwar and reaches up till Farakka barrage that is till faraka in assam and the tributary is gomti and ghaggar and the most important feature of this river is that the sundarban delta is formed because of the ganga drainage system so children we have already divided the drainage system of india into two and the first one is himalayan i'm talking about the himalayan rivers and i've already told you about the indus and the ganga and the third one is the brahmaputra river the brahmaputra river originates at the plateau of tibet and the total length is 2900 square kilometers and the catchment area is arunachal pradesh assam and generally flows outside the country and dihang is the most important tributary 
and the most important feature of this river is that it has huge deposit of silt which means the place from wherever it flows it becomes very very fertile and it keeps shifting its channel very very frequently. Try and remember one thing again and again the drainage system of India meaning to say the rivers that flow have been divided into two the Himalayan rivers and the peninsula rivers. These are the only facts children that you must remember of the chapter of the Himalayan rivers. Just make a chart like this and divide it into six headings and just write the names of the rivers, their origin, their origin, their length, catchment area, tributary, distributary or the special feature that they have. And you already know the meaning of the special features. What is a delta? What is a gorge? You already are aware of it. So, if you remember the rivers in this manner, you are never going to forget it. Just make a chart like this in your copy and try and remember it, right? That was about the first kind of rivers that we had in India, the Himalayan rivers. In the next clipping, I talk about the second kind, that's the peninsular rivers.